can you provide an overview of how AI is currently being utilized within the railway industry? Yeah, so I, I actually personally didn't really work for a railway company, but it's of course our company Connect's main client. And AI and generally digitalization is a big topic in the industry. There are many projects and initiatives that support the development in this field. I don't know, for example, in Germany, we have the Digitale Schiene, so digital rail or a house of AI. And basically every of the railway companies today has internal data science analytics teams who focus on the digitalization and implementation of AI. What is my experience typically that because a lot of these uh, projects are kind of project based kind of short term initiatives, they sometimes don't really long for very last. So the, the initial ideas, which are really often very interesting, then don't get to the users. There is not the, the continuity in maintaining the tool, the software and so on. So the other kind of traditional thing how railway uses the AI or the digital systems is by buying different hardware systems, right? So there is a lot of development in monitoring systems for both the rolling stock, so for the trains, for infrastructure, where you have, for example, monitoring trains equipped with camera lasers, ultrasound, eddy current, which monitor the track and the environment around. Uh, and these data are then used for planning the maintenance and checking the health of the systems. And then what we are doing, we basically focus, we also have our uh, own hardware, but we focus more on the analytics part, so on developing the models and adding the interpretation layer to the data. So basically we provide as a SaaS solution where we constantly develop and improve the system as it is in operation. So I guess the big thing is around safety, I guess, is it can identify the safety issues a lot better. Yes, yeah, so I mean the, the traditional way, so the safety definitely is a big topic in railway, mm -hmm. right? So it's basically probably the safest mode of transport that we have now also environmentally friendly. So it is yeah. already very safe. And there traditionally the way how it was done was that people were going to the track, inspecting the track, deciding about the maintenance. So it was very much based on expert knowledge, which today is a big problem. So one thing is this is very dangerous work. The other thing is that there is actually lack of these experts and the problem in transferring the knowledge from two new generations, right? So that's why there is big hope in this emerging digital systems, which yeah, can add and ultimately hopefully also replace the human expertise in needing to inspect the track and the rail, yeah. the trains.